save yourselves from sickness from harm save yourselves from the loss of the hereafter while you are looking for wealth don't do something haram one of those things that Allah has spoken about that is absolutely prohibited is something known as riba riba meaning interest or usury it is the dirtiest filthiest wealth that one could have as much as it seems like wow this looks like you know figures from 10 it became a hundred from a hundred it became a thousand there is no blessing in that wealth no baraka at all you will have it you will eat it it will result in sickness physical and spiritual and it will result in discord disunity problems in the home difficulties in your family your children don't obey you because you haven't obeyed Allah many sicknesses and illnesses that we have problems that we face are connected with the fact that our income is faulty it's faulty it's better to have less and have a happy home and be close to Allah than to have a lot and be distant from everyone be sick inside and out meaning spiritually as well as externally we are ill physically may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not do that to us listen to the strong words that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses when it comes to riba Allah says verse number 275 of surah al-baqarah <laughs> Those who consume riba on the day of judgment, they will not be able to stand except like the one who has been touched by the devil, possessed by the devil or harmed by the devil or beaten up by the devil. They will not be able to even think correctly on that day because whatever they have done, all of it happens to be in the displeasure of Allah in terms of the sustenance that they earned. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Some of the Mufassireen have actually said that even in this world, a person who eats interest, their brains become knocked at a time when you will talk to them and they will be responding, but they don't make sense. They don't understand. Everything they utter will be wrong. It will be incorrect. Yet they will be thinking we are right. Imagine. It's as though they are possessed, completely possessed. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from this. What would be the purpose of wealth if the consumption of that wealth would result in us being semi-possessed by the devil? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen us all. In fact, Allah says in verse number 279, after he tells us to quit eating interest, to quit the consumption of this interest, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says quite clearly, if you are not going to quit the consumption of interest, then let there be an announcement of war against you from Allah and his messenger. Subhanallah. Allah is announcing war against those who are consuming interest. When Allah announces war, your life will be turned upside down completely after a period of time. You cannot win a war against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't even try. This is why Allah says, if you seek forgiveness for you is the capital that you put in if you ask Allah's forgiveness you need to make sure you extract the amount of interest from the amount you are holding such that your capital remains with you this is why whenever you have an amount of interest sometimes because you might you may be banking with a bank that gives interest and it's illegal not to bank and so on so if you really have to and there is an amount of interest you need to calculate it it is your duty to remove it and give it to poor muslims without any any intention of reward for that particular wealth but rather a reward for having done the right thing there is a difference here so people say well why can't i give it to non-muslims Technically speaking, you could, but the Muslims are more in need of that wealth. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to someone else. You don't know who it is. You are giving it as a charity on behalf of someone else whom you don't even know. And to give it to a Muslim would be better because they are in need. So look for the poor Muslimin, give them in cash or in kind. 
and your intention is not for a reward for that wealth, but obviously you will get a reward for having taken it out of that particular system of yours. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us strength. So if we were to consume interest, we would be harming ourselves. That, would, that means if we don't consume it for the sake of Allah, we are saving ourselves. Hence, this verse is included in this series known as save yourselves. You save yourselves by protecting your income, ensuring that there is no haram element inside that particular income of yours. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all a deep understanding. Indeed, we will never be able to win a battle against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.